Welcome back to the Hardcore Pub, everybody. I'm going to be trying a Sweetwater beer today. This is the uh, Sweetwater IPA. Had plenty of Sweetwater beers. It's a local Atlanta beer. This is 6.3% alcohol, 16 ounces. It's a pint. Can conditioned for fresher taste. Check the best if enjoyed by date on the bottom of your can. Well, I just bought this not too long ago, so. This best if enjoyed by 8-13-22. So they want you to drink this fresh because I just bought this literally like two weeks ago. And this is June, so they want you to drink it within two months. It says best if enjoyed by. Doesn't mean it's not going to be good if you drink it after that date. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just fine. But this says, our original India Pale Ale lays down hints of grapefruit and pine on the palate with a clean and bright finish. A straight up, always fresh, always heady, OG IPA. This is the go-to brew you order without having to check the menu. Well, alright. I'm looking forward to it. This thing has minuscule looking carbonation. I'm not seeing a ton of bubbles come up through this. Um, I say, I know the hard pour has its critics. Uh, people say it makes the beer go flat. I can tell you it doesn't. This beer appears to look flat. Doesn't mean it's going to be flat in the mouth. Okay. But normally when I hard pour, I get a lot more bubble action coming up than this. This is like, I can count them like one, two, three. Um, eh, we'll see what she tastes like. Let's see what it smells like first. Citrusy. It's an IPA. It's what it's going to smell like. It's a nice smell. It's a great summertime smell. It's hot. It's like feels like it's 100 degrees outside. I've been outside most of the day. I'm looking forward to quenching my thirst with this delicious OG Sweetwater IPA. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. Yeah. It is not flat in the mouth. I don't, I don't know why there's like zero bubbles coming up now. Zero. But you can feel them in your mouth. You can feel it biting your tongue. It's an optical delusion. That's what it is. Let me top some more of this off. This, you know, I say I, I target people who who don't drink these types of beers. I, I target people who always drink the same beer, always, all the time, always have, probably always will. But those are the nuts that I'm trying to crack. Um, this is good to me. It's good to me. I grew up in Florida. I ate grapefruits without sugar. I like the flavor. Um, but this, this is kind of, that grapefruit flavor in it, I could see, would turn off a lot of people. But it would also turn on a lot of people. So, is this a beginner IPA? If you're, if you're just used to drinking light beers or regular beers and you're looking to get into the, you know, craft beers, is this a starter IPA? No, no. The flavors are too... I use the word obnoxious. I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just, it's a really flavorful beer. There are, there are what I call beginner IPAs, uh, which aren't really IPAs. I would say go for the pale ales. The pale ales, uh, for the most part, you're going to get the same flavors. They're just not going to be as pronounced and in your face. So it's going to it's going to gently it's going to gently get you from the light beers and the regular beers over into the different you know into an IPA um, so yes if you're a seasoned IPA drinker and you know what they're going to taste like and you like them this is a great beer this is a great beer it's loaded with flavor I'm just a little puzzled as to why there's no carbonated action going on in the glass but like I say it's an optical delusion cuz I can feel it on my tongue As a matter of fact, 
I just took like five or six swallows in a row. And with each successive swallow, the carbonation got more and more intense. By the fifth and sixth swallow, it was really, really biting at my tongue. I like that. I like a beer that's going to give as good as it gets. Um, I get a lot out of, I say, that's why I do the hard pour. I, I want more than just the flavor of the beer. That's why I put it in a glass. I want to see it. I want to see everything it has. I want to smell it. I want to taste it. And not just the flavors, I want... I want to get a reaction out of this beer. So if it's got nice carbonation and it bites a hold of your tongue, I like that. It lets me know that this is a beer worth drinking. And this most definitely is a beer worth drinking. So I'm going to finish this off. Sweetwater Brewing Company, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. IPA. This is their OG Sweetwater IPA. I know because it says so right on the back of the can. This was 6.3% alcohol and it's fantastic. Gonna get a thumbs up from me. Buy this beer. Drink it. You're gonna love it. If you don't, I happen to know, I'll come drink it for you. So thanks for stopping by the Hardcore Pub. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And you know the deal. You can come alone if you want, but what fun is that? Bring a friend with you next time. I guarantee you'll both have a good time. Cheers. Mm. I do like that beer. That is fantastic.